as I'm getting closer to finishing this truck, I'm really getting worn out on the wiring. Um, so I've moved on a little bit from that to getting the engine ready and everything that's under the hood. And let me show you what I'm talking about with that. So today I'm kind of just doing a little bit. Um, I grounded the engine block to the frame right here. Um, these locks here on the harness weren't fully locking, so I had to build a steel frame on the inside for to go around the PCM in order to pull it all the way in so I didn't have to pull it in on the plastic. So those are locked in now. Uh, there are a couple grounds back here that I had to hook up and yesterday I didn't want to really do anything so I did my power steering lines and those turned out pretty good so I uh, clamped them here so they don't rub each other I clamped them here so they stay in place As you can see they're kind of clamped on to the um, to the rack here so everything's sturdy And then down here, the uh, power steering lines. Again, I got this one clamped here. This one is clamped to the harness so that doesn't rub anywhere. And then again, the harness is clamped to the rack line so that it doesn't rub on anything. And then I uh, put my core support in place. Obviously it's not. Perfect, it's kind of at an angle right now, but I have a big issue here. Which is really unfortunate. My lower hose. I guess I could have planned my cross member better. Because that is going right into it. So that is just fucking stupid and now I can't use that core or that cross member yep not gonna work out for anyone no way around it i have to fix it i don't want to fix it <laughs> i am not motivated to do it not motivated I figure cutting that out there and cutting that out there would be way bigger of a pain in the ass than just notching this thing so I measured where it needed to be and I just notched it. And that's, that's it. Notched it, cleaned it up a little bit, not looking for perfection. Um, that's it, cool. So uh, that's gonna look I, I guess. It'll be functional and it's plenty strong. All right, so I got that. Get this tape out of here. Ugh. Don't mind the dog food down there, it's a paint catcher. I got that painted in from the top. If you could see, you can't even tell. But then you come down and it is definitely notched enough. So, I cut the original hoses apart. The original radiator hoses, I still got this sleeve. And I used pieces of these hoses to find hoses at the part store that'll work. So it appears I didn't explain how I got my radiator hoses very well. What I did was, is I cut up the original hoses and use them as a tool in a way so I could take it to the hardware store or the auto parts store, I mean, and um, compare it to different hoses to find one that'll work. So I cut this one and I kind of held it in place. You can see how it kind of fits that one. And I put an arrow on there to let me know that I need it. And I put an arrow on there to let me know that I need it to be longer 
than this one. And I ended up with that hose fits really well. And these two are where it might get confusing. I cut them, I cut the regular hoses, I cut them into a couple pieces. Um, this one I held in place at the bottom and this one I held in place here and they seem to line up pretty well except there was eight inches between them and that's where I got that eight inches from and so then while these were sitting there I marked which part of them were forward so I knew the angles that I had to look for at the store right because I didn't want to get it confused so I just marked forward and so I went and I looked for a hose that looked just like what I needed and found it. So sorry if that was confusing. Again, I just cut up the factory coyote hoses into what I needed and compared them to dozens of different tubes at the auto parts store. I got the upper one from AutoZone and I got the lower one from O'Reilly. And the lower one was about almost four times more expensive than the top one. I don't know why, but it was. But that's what happened. And I'm sticking to it. So this is the top hose. I got, this probably won't work for you, but here's the part number. Um, I couldn't find the same for the bottom hose at AutoZone. I cut this into two pieces. I drew a line where the front is and on here where the front is, so they fit like that. But I needed eight additional inches between the two in order for it to go on. So I actually, I don't have the piece, but I cut a piece of cardboard eight inches long as reference with these lines and I came up with this. Uh. Pardon me. So if this is, and this is like this, use your imagination, that's like that. And then this one is about the same except for this end just needs to come up this way a little more. And I am 51% confident that I'll be able to just twist it a little bit and not have to worry about it kinking. And then that'll work. So um, I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna cut these with this because it's easier and I want to make a nice clean straight cut and with the razor blade it's you can get a straight cut but you know they're not they're not that great with just a fucking razor knife you know what I mean so I'm gonna cut them with this and I'm gonna cut them a little bit long I got this one marked already there and there for this so I'm gonna cut it just a little bit long and then cut it down as I fit it. So let's see. All right, so these actually fit excellent. I had cut both ends of this one and it's really direct. Um, the end of this here isn't optimal for this, <laughs> but it's gonna work. Ah! And if it doesn't, then I'll deal with it someday. Here's the number for the old one or for the bottom one. Um, and I only had to cut one end and that was the bottom end. And that goes through the notch and then up to here perfectly. And then this one, when I clamp it, I'm gonna twist it out just a little bit so it gets a little distance from my belt here. So I am uh, really happy with those. All right, I got my fuel lines plumbed. I do not, I do not have the B nuts tight yet. So everything's loose. This comes back here. I might replace it, give it a longer one because it's kind of hitting hard right there. Uh, the worst part about that is these barbs are really big and hard to get on there. But uh, we'll see what happens. I need to plug the vacuum port because I don't need that. And then I got the uh, fuel lines coming down. I got them clamped together there. I did all this with uh, self-tapping screws and then um, here so I got it mounted to that body mount little panel thingy because that keeps it off the frame and then it comes up above the uh, trans cooler I need to figure out what I'm gonna do here so it doesn't ride on that mount and that mount 
but I'm not worried about it. That'll be an easy fix. And, uh, back here, because there's your cooler mount, right? So then it mounts there. Over here above my four link. I got to do something here too, so it doesn't rub on here. But I got those mounted up here. The return line comes inside the frame rail. There's not really enough room to get them both through here. Then I got my filter right there. And then they go to the tank. So, I'm happy with how this turned out. Like I said, these are super hard to push onto these fittings. Um, I ended up taking this one inside and sticking the ends in boiling water and then using petroleum jelly and they went on pretty good. But when you have to do it out here, I don't have boiling water and I only have petroleum jelly, but it sucks. Pardon the absolute mess of everything I got going on here. I am still trying to figure out where to put my MMR oil filter relocation. I'm using it because the oil filter goes down in there and there's just not room for it with the steering shaft and everything else that's going on in there. So I got the other bracket there. You can see the uh, two uh, couplers right there for the line. And like there's spots to put it right like here, but that's gonna, anywhere here is gonna be in the way of the wheel turning. And in here, it's just not gonna work out because the lines with the exhaust and clearance for the ground and everything. So that's not gonna work. I've seen some people put it here, but I really just don't want it there. And I don't know how that's gonna work out with the uh, inner fenders that I haven't made yet. So I was thinking somewhere around here because that won't be in the way of my sway bar, that won't be in the way of my tires, that won't be in the way of anything here. Um, some people put it on the inside of the frame here, but I just don't know where to do that. It's just nothing seems good in there. So I was thinking of putting it like right here like that. So like there's my engine and all that and boom. But I don't know about my filter. I don't know about that fitting or anything. So. Yep, don't mind the mess. Um, I got a filter to put on here. And let me tell you what. This filter has got to be the biggest oil filter ever. Like I have big hands and that's how big that filter is. It's like, holy crap. So I'm going to put this on there for now like that and see how that is going to fit right there. Ugh. The sway bar is at its full position like that. So the sway bar can't move down into that filter anymore. And I think that's a good spot actually. Um, it's going to be clear of the ground. It'll get a little fresh air. I'm hoping like nothing in road debris will come up and hit it. Only thing I can think of is the lines coming out forward like that. But let me show you the fittings that come on this side. Well, I got 90 degree fittings and straight fittings. And I think the 90 degree ones will be better off here. And the straight ones will be better off there. I'm not sure how that's gonna fit, but I got to make, I gotta make sure that they will. I know that the lines will fit fine here. There's my hose right there, it's nice and braided. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on one of those ends and just see how it fits in there to make sure that it's gonna be nice and clear because as you can see, it's only about three, maybe three and a half inches away from the steering shaft. So I gotta make sure that that's gonna fit. And then if it does, I'm gonna dr drill and tap this in there. This. This dealio is mounted. I'm happy with it. Um, it'll have enough ground clearance for me. I feel like it'll be perfectly okay. These are coming obviously up here, down into there. The one thing I don't like is, I hope this doesn't kink right there. It's not kink yet, but I still need to find a way to secure these so they're not riding on the frame here. Um, just like that would be perfect. 
and I don't know how I'm going to do that yet, but I need to watch out that this hose doesn't kink. Because if I starve my oil in the truck, that's no good. Luckily, I have an oil pressure sensor so I can keep an eye on it. Um, but yeah, so my oil filter relocation is mounted and I am for the most part happy with it. Very hard to make progress when it's this hot outside. I just don't like being hot. And it just rained and so now I'm just like 100% humidity. It's ridiculous, bro. I can barely breathe. So I think I might be done for the day. Also, with this line here, it's kind of touching here. So I had this piece off of a coolant line that I deleted from over here. And so I stuck that on there and I heat shrink each end. And that looks professional, bro. Like I am totally happy with how that is. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. Making progress slowly but surely. Don't call me Shirley, I said. So what I gotta do next to get this thing running, besides filling it up with fluids, um, I have to run the wiring to the back to the fuel tank. And I gotta make sure none of this other loose wiring here is gonna ground out and short out. Um, that way, it'll be okay to, to run before it's finished, so. So in the next video, you're gonna see me start her up. I don't know if that'll be a week or two weeks or three weeks. I don't know what I'm gonna run into and what things I'm gonna miss and all that stuff. But uh, the next time you see me, we're gonna finish everything up in order to start this thing. So I'm really happy with the coolant lines, how that turned out. Couldn't have found any better fitting hoses. Like that just, Really good, I have hose clamps. I just need to install them there, down there, and right there, and that's great. Um, this is leaning, but I'm pretty sure that it's not leaning by a lot and putting the fenders on will straighten it out. I tightened all my fuel lines. I think that's a great place. Like I'm happy with not knowing what I'm doing with how all this has come out, you know what I mean? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with those. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with all the wiring. I'm happy, I'm happy with this thing. I just wish I could just start driving it. I think it's still gonna be a while. So, see you next time. Peace out. And I gotta make sure none of this other loose wiring here is gonna ground out.